Hi guys, today we're going to learn about how to get started in Kerbal Space Program's career mode. This is an immensely fun game, but being a space simulator, it can be really difficult to get into if you don't have any previous experience with space sims. As a complete beginner, I felt like I had to learn things the hard way, so stay tuned to this short guide which will walk you through the first steps you should be taking in this game. If you enjoyed this guide, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For now, however, let's get into it. When you first start the game, you'll be looking at the Space Center. There are several buildings here, and by left clicking you can go directly to any of them. The first place you want to go to is Mission Control, which is here. This is where you'll be able to pick up missions that pay you money to buy more stuff, which is always good. There should be four missions available, and you are able to accept two at a time. One of the missions is to gather some science, and another is to launch your first rocket. Both of these missions are available right off the bat, so grab them both right now. The next place we want to head to is the Vehicle Assembly Building, where we can construct a rocket. Start building a rocket by selecting the Mark 1 command pod. You will then need to choose an engine to go underneath it. Select the engine icon on the far left. There is only one available, the Flea Solid Fuel Engine, so choose that. At the bottom of the tabs, click Utility and add a parachute to the top of your rocket so we can land it in one piece. The next thing we will need to do is set the staging so that we do not trigger the engine and parachute at the same time. In the bottom right, you can see the staging boxes. Click the plus to add a new stage. Drag the engine into number 1 and the chute into number 2. These stages count down so your rocket will be activated first. The rocket is now ready to launch but before we go it's worth adding the ability to gather more science. Science is like experience in the game and will allow you to unlock more components for future rocket builds. To enable us to collect more science, click on the science tab and select the mystery goo experiment. Click the symmetry wheel so you have three of them and attach them near the top of your pod. It's important to use symmetry so that you do not unbalance your rocket. If you want to add some stabilizing fins also, you can, but this is probably not necessary for this rocket. Now all that is done, click the launch button in the top right. We could just launch right away, but we can gather science from here on the landing pad. So right click on one of your mystery goo containers and run the experiment. Once done, click on keep data. Right click on the pod and click crew report. Keep that data too. Next, hover the mouse over the Kerbal Pilot in the bottom right and click EVA. The Kerbal will get out of the pod. You can right click on the Kerbal and perform an EVA report that will give us even more science. Now we want to download all of that data into the pod so we can perform these experiments again whilst in the air and then again after we land. To do that, right click on the pod and click Take Data. Then right click again and click Store Experiments. Press B to get the Kerbal back inside the pod and we are now ready to launch. I recommend enabling stability assist by pressing T and then press the space bar to launch. Use the WASD keys to bank slide to the right and enjoy the flight. You can see your fuel depleting on the left side of the screen and once it is all gone, do another crew report and run another of the mystery goo experiments. When your rocket starts to fall, activate the parachute which should deploy at a reasonable height and get you safely back down to the ground or maybe even in the water. Once landed, run another GUI experiment, click EVA and do a report and then take and store the experiments. Board the pod, do one more crew report and then hover at the top of the screen and click recover your vessel. You should have gained around 30 science that you can invest into continuing your adventures in space and will also have made money from completing the missions that you accepted earlier. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!